Vision Forwards in Focus team presents. Hello, this is Luke Scriven here at Vision Forward, and welcome to another In Focus Deep Dive. In this deep dive video, we're going to be taking a look at Windows 10 Narrator and how it interacts with Microsoft Word. To get started, we're going to go ahead and open up Narrator by holding Control and the Windows key and pressing Enter. Start desktop list, WinCam, selected, on. Good, and we heard that we were on the desktop and also that the icon for WinCam, which is on my desktop, is currently selected. Now we want to find Microsoft Word. Let's say that we don't know where it is. The easiest way to find something is hitting the Windows key to open up our start menu. It will put us in a search box where we can then just take, type the name of the thing that we're looking for, press enter, and it will open it for us. So I'm going to go ahead and press the Windows key. Start window, Cortana, search box, edit. And we heard we were in a search box and it said edit, so we know we can type here. I'm going to go ahead and type out Word. W O R D. And now press enter and hopefully it will open up a new document for us. Pane. Document 1. Word window. Document 1. Editing. Do be aware that depending on how you have Word set up, sometimes when you type in Word and press enter, it will open in what they call the backstage view, where you're able to choose the type of document that you want to open. If you just press enter um, at that point, then it will open up a new blank document for you. So you may have to take that extra step. In my case, I have that disabled, so it's just taken me right through to a blank document. Now let's have a look at how Narrator helps us when we're typing. I'm going to type out a sentence here. Cap H E L L O com hello H O W space how A R E space R Y O U qu U space. Now hopefully you notice then as I was typing it would uh, echo back both the individual letters that I typed and also the words whenever I press space or did punctuation. And so that's uh, very useful feedback for us. We can hear uh, what we're typing and it ensures that we are typing what we want to type. I'm going to press enter and start another line. And let me type out something else here. Cap I space cap I A M space M. V E R Y space very W E L L period space well. Good, so now I have two lines of text, and as I was typing them, I heard what they said. Now, we might want to review what we have been uh, typing, and there's many different ways that we can navigate around the text, and this is what we're going to spend the rest of the video taking a look at. First of all, let's take a look at the command to read everything, and that command is going to be holding down caps lock and pressing the down arrow. Now you will find a list of the commands we discuss in this video in the description, and so you can go ahead and uh, take those and save them somewhere. Um, let's start off now, we're going to hold down the caps lock and press the down arrow. Empty document. Ah, now it told us it was an empty document because we are at the end of the last sentence and so there's nothing else to read here at the moment. So the first thing that we need to do before we have something read to us is move the cursor to where we want it to be read from. For example, I want to have this document read from the start of the first line. So I need to move my cursor there. Now the easiest way to move to the start of a document is with, with another key command and this key command is control and the home key and the home key is located in the six pack above the arrow keys. If I press control and home it will move the cursor to the very start of the document and then I can go ahead and read from there. So let me hold control and press home. Hello, how are you? And it moved me to the start of the first line and it also read the line while it was there. Now I'm going to hold caps lock and press the down arrow and it will read both of those lines to me in one go. Hello, how are you? I am very well. And there we go, it's finished reading, it read both lines and it, uh, now the cursor is at the end of the last sentence. So always remember we can press control and home to move the cursor to the very start of the document and uh, we can also press control and end to move the cursor to the end end of the document and end is right by home in the six pack. 
Now we can also press home and end on their own and uh, if we press them without control they will move us to the beginning or the end of the line that we're currently on. So I'm currently on the second line and I'm at the end of the second line. If I press home on its own it will move me to the start of the second line. Cap I. And it said cap I because there was an I at the start of that line. If I press end it will move me to the end of that line. End of line. And it told me it had moved me to the end of that line. So those are very useful navigation commands. Now we had a look at how to read everything in this document, but we might want to read a little more discriminately. We might want to read uh, individual words or even individual letters in this document. And luckily we are able to do this quite easily. First of all, let's move to the top of the document again with our control and home command. Hello, how are you? So now our cursor is at the start of the document. I'm going to show you now how to move word by word, and it's very simple. The words uh, of this line are to the right of where the cursor is. If I want to read word by word, all I have to do is hold down control and use the right arrow, and it will move over the document word by word, and it will read whatever word is to the right of the cursor. Let's give this a try. Comma. How. Are. You. Question mark. And every time I uh, pressed the right arrow while holding control, it was moving then to the word to the right of where I was. Let's move back to the left. I'm going to hold down control and press the left arrow. Each time I press the left arrow, it will move back a word. You are how comma hello. And there we go. So that's a very nice way for us to move through word by word if we want to take it a little more slowly and focus in. And we can focus in even more by moving letter by letter. And this can be great for checking spelling and things like that. To move letter by letter, it's the exact same process that we just did, but we don't hold control. And so it's just the right and left arrow keys. As we move them, it will read whatever letter is to the right of the cursor. Let's give this a try. I'm on the word hello at the moment, so we're on the H. Let's move to the right. E L L O comma. And there we go. Let's move back to the left. O L L E cap H. And there we go. Well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video on how to open Microsoft Word and do some things with it uh, using Windows 10 Narrator. And this was just the uh, intro video. There will be more to follow. And as I said previously, you can find the shortcuts that we used in the description. So make sure to uh, check those out and maybe uh, you know save them for later referral. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And if you have any questions about assistive technology, then there's a number of ways you can get in touch with us. You can call 414-615-0103. You can email uh, infocus at vision-forward.org. And you can visit our website vision-forward.org. That's it for this video. I hope to see you in the next one.